now I will move to uh, to EVPN weighted load balancing, uh, which will be very quick demo. Uh, but it's uh, another problem which is solving uh, typically in the data center. Both of the use cases are uh, applicable both in the data center as well as in the service provider environment. But here we will change the terminology to basically balance between the DC and uh, and the SP. So. Uh, what we are trying to solve here, right? First problem, uh, when we look at like typical networking, uh, ECMP and load balancing is designed to optimize the, the network, uh, network resources, right? Uh, but typically in the data center, when you have uh, some workload on the, on the compute, in this case represented by the virtual functions, we have uh, five virtual functions here, you want to be sure and that the workload will be properly distributed over, over all the five VNFs. Unfortunately, when you will take the, the standard mechanisms, like for example, BGP multipath, for, for this particular example, you will get to the point that uh, you see that uh, the prefix, which we are using the same one here, AA slash 24, which is basically represented by all the five uh, VNFs, uh, is uh, basically ECMP over both of the leaves equally. But I have uh, two VNFs connected to L1 and I have three VNFs connected to the L2, right? And suddenly when you will imagine that it will be in a whole data center, you will have really, really non-equal, not, uh, not fair balancing over, over both of the leads for the, for the particular compute for the particular VNFs. So uh, for this one, we have a, we have a draft for, uh, for unequal load balancing for EVPN. It's basically like adding extended community into the EVPN route I5 and basically signaling. I have uh, two options. One of them is I can signal the bandwidth of the link where my, uh, where my prefix is connected or my compute is connected to. And another option is basically define my own weight for the, uh, for the, uh, for the, for the prefix. In this case, we, we are defining the weight as a number of the next hops, which means number of the VNFs. So uh, what we will do in this case, the, for example, this prefix AA slash 24, which is advertised by all five VNFs over EPGP session to the particular leaves. Uh, L1 will advertise this prefix with the weight two, and leaf two will advertise it with the, with the weight three. So then on the remote node, you will see that basically remote node CC this weight and based on this should do proper shopper balancing. So basically the remote node here in this case, border leaf three will see the AA slash 24 uh, over L1 with the weight two and then with the, with the weight three over, over leaf, leaf three. So let's go to the, to the demo topology, which is very similar to what I was just showing. Uh, the same devices, uh, Cisco uh, Leaf 41, no Nokia Leaf 56, and uh, remote, uh, remote border Leaf uh, Cisco 60. And we have uh, two VNFs connected to, uh, to Cisco, uh, Cisco 41, and then we have uh, three VNFs connected to the Nokia uh, 50, 56. So, f so first, I will very quickly show on the on the remote on the remote node that I'm receiving uh, the for the prefix five six seven which we are using in uh, in this case. So I'm receiving EVPN route I five from the node. Uh, 100 zero uh, three forty one, which is uh, which is uh, Cisco Leaf forty one. Uh, I'm receiving it with the particular next hop, with the particular label. This is not important here, but most important here is the extended community, which is basically s saying, first, the one means that I have, a, uh, I have a defined weight, so basically I have my, uh, I'm not using the bandwidth, and the two means, in this case, I have a two next hop, so basically I want to balance with, uh, with this particular node with the, uh, with the, with the weight two. 
I will then look at uh, and I will check the EVPN route I5 from uh, from the Nokia Leaf uh, from the 56. So we can see that again. I'm at uh, the Nokia is advertising 567/24 over route I5 with the own Nexo and basically the same community except here you can see that again it's a it's a it's a unit one which again is defining own own weight and uh, here in this case is a weight three so then when we will look at the routing table for the 567 i can see two different next hops uh, one is uh, 56 uh, with this case with the weight three and then I have uh, I have a second node 41 with the uh, with the weight two, and I will give microphone to Diego. Thank you, thanks, Jiri. So we will be seeing a, a kind of the, the same information that uh, Jiri was this. Sorry, not my laptop, this one. So I ended up clicking in places where I was not supposed to. So okay, so perfect. So as you were saying, so we when we. Uh, we are receiving the, the road type 5 road from the remote PEs and we receive it with the extended the, the EVPN uh, link bank with extended community where we have the weights set considering the number of BNFs that we have attached to one of the remote PEs. So as you can see here in the routing table for that specific prefix, you can see that we receive one. So one of the prefixes that we have received from the remote PE is got a weight of an ECMP weight of two. So that means that we, have, we are going to have two next hops attached to the remote PE uh, advertising the same prefix, okay? And of course, in this case, um, we have, so that as Jiri was mentioning, the, uh, the Cisco PE is connected to three CEs in this case, or three BNFs, and each BNF, sorry, and each BNF is advertising, well, two. Okay, well, the Cisco is two, Nokia is three, isn't it? Yeah, so Nokia is connected to three uh, CEs or three BNFs, and uh, we are advertising, when we advertise that EVPN road to the, to the remote PEs, we include the weight of three in this case because we have three next swaps, right? In that specific EVPN link bandwidth extended community. We are going to, we are going to shoot down one of the PGP peers on one of these, uh, on one of these attached BNFs that we have in one of the PEs, and we are going to see how the advertisements on the EVPN roads changes on the Cisco side, right? So, I will be doing that. He is going to be explaining here a little bit. Yeah. So basically, we want to see that dynamically, uh, basically, we will start to receive uh, the, the EVPN route type 5 with the extended community for link bandwidth uh, uh, decreased by one. In this case, uh, before the Nokia was sending it with the three, right now we are expecting uh, with the uh, with the two, so let's see when uh, once Diego will bring down one uh, one CE. Right now you can see that because uh, Diego brought down one one C one one BNF, I'm receiving it from Nokia with the base two. So basically, right now it's base two from both both of these. And that's it from uh, from our demo. Thank you for coming and uh, listening to our VPN. Yep.